Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Cut and Corner Vinyl, and today we have a fun tutorial. We're going to make a shirt, but we're going to learn how to download and install SVGs from the internet. Now, one of my favorite websites to go to for free SVGs for personal use is www.lovesvg.com. Okay. And they have tons of free SVGs on here for you to download, and they are taken and sorted by holidays and things like that. But we're just going to choose one. We'll choose this first one, which is like an Apple Pencil Heart Wreath. Okay. Now what you do is you scroll down to the bottom to where it says Download Zip File. Okay. Now that has brought the file down here to the bottom of the screen where my mouse cursor is. I'm going to open that up and I'm going to click extract and then I'm going to click extract all. There you go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Cricut Design Space and I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to click on Upload Image, Browse. I'm going to go to my Downloads folders, click on the monogram frame, and then I'm going to click right here where it says Scalable Vector Graphics. There you go. Click Save. Now I can take and insert the image into Design Space. Now I want to make a Valentine's shirt and I've already taken and downloaded that. So we're going to choose this Smoochie Jaw, which is also available under the Valentine's Designs on Love SVG. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to change the size of this to 10.5 inches wide because that's how wide I want to make it for a shirt. I'm going to click ungroup and I'm going to take all of the parts of y'all. I'm holding the shift key and then I use my mouse cursor to select it all and I'm clicking attach. Now I'm going to move that little heart out of the way and the y'all out of the way and I'm going to take and select all of the red and we're going to click attach as well. Now to set it to make it Okay, we're going to mirror both sets because we're going to use glitter, <laughs> heat transfer vinyl, which you can use plain. Okay, now we're going to use the Cricut Maker to cut this, but you can use the Explore Air. You, this is how you download for any program. Um, there we go. Now give me a minute to change to the regular camera and I will show you how to apply this. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open up our Cricut Maker, and I have the red glitter vinyl and the black glitter vinyl, and I'm going to take my Cricut mat, and these are just scraps of both. And lay the vinyl on the top two corners, which I'm off a little bit, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to take and push it underneath these two ridges and click for it to load. Now it's just testing out to see everything. It's going to take and adjust the blade and we'll click go. So while that is cutting, we're going to go ahead and change our view to our heat press so you can take and see how I load my shirts on. Okay. Now I'm just pulling this onto the heat press platen, the bottom part. And I'm taking and making sure my seams are straight on the heat press. Then I have my 
t-shirt guide. This is a 16 inch. We're going to take and load that on the top of the shirt where it is level with the top corners. Okay, now we'll turn it back to the Cricut Maker so you can see what it's cutting and then we will weed it. Okay. Go ahead and remove that off. This is a new mat, so it's super duper sticky. There, normally I like them better once they get unsticky, but every once in a while you do have to use a new mat. If you watched my last video, you know that I typically will just try to, I will use a mat until I cannot use it anymore. Okay, there we go. Load it under those ridges again. And we're going to let that file cut. And while that's cutting, we're going to go ahead and weed our red layer. There we go. As you can see, it's very easy to do and it is very, very easy to weed the design. Here is my easy weeding wooden pick so I can grab out the centers of the letters. That is one of my favorite tools and it is available on our website for purchase. As well as the vinyl and the t-shirt guide. Okay, so we've got that cut. Now while the y'all is cutting, what I'm going ahead and doing is, as you can see, I'm folding the design in half with the sticky part facing outwards and the non-sticky part facing inwards. So that way you can create a crisp line. Now we're going to adjust the camera again. Excuse me. Where you can see the heat press. Now I'm going to take and lay that center mark right on our center mark on our shirt. Going about three fingers down. So I like to bring the design up a little bit onto the t-shirt guide. We're going to grab our Teflon sheet. We're going to cover. And we're going to press that. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now I'm going to take and weave the black layer, which first I'm going to grab some scissors and trim this down. So that way there is not as much waste. See what I'm doing? So that way we can save all that excess for another project. These will, the colors for this will actually go into the scrap box drawing. There we go. Now we're going to weed out the center of the A. And we're going to take our scissors and cut off the little heart because that goes on the top. So we're going to lay that roughly about center. 
go ahead and have to be exact and put our heart up here. We're going to cover it again. And parts of this that y'all aren't seeing is I do pre-press this on camera so that way to get all the wrinkles and moisture out. Um, we're going to let that heat for about 15 seconds. And once that's done, I will change views so you can see the whole project put together. Okay. Okay. So as you can see, that is the shirt all completed. This is a comfort color shirt. I think the I don't remember the name of the color, like Lagoon Blue or something. But it looks absolutely adorable. Remember, if you like this tutorial, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification icon next to it. Check us out on all of our social medias, uh, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook. Um, I will be doing a second video on my second channel today. I'm going to do an eyeshadow palette declutter. So if you're interested in seeing that, look at Betsy Gocher on YouTube. And other than that, thanks and y'all have a great day.